Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be going over Zoologist Dodo, and I'd like to talk about this for a second. I think this is the most interesting portrait caricature character of all zoologists. I think it's an interesting juxtaposition of kind of uh, what you would assume to be kind of a wacky, silly character, the Dodo, juxtaposed with this stern, puritanical kind of East Indian trading company, explore, conquistador kind of vibe. I think it's really interesting, and I wonder if it was some dark irony um, because uh, who he's dressed as was the, the people, those people, the explorers, whatever you want to call it, they, they hunted the dodo to extinction. So he's kind of dressed like the person, people that killed them. And I think that's really interesting. I think this is the, I love Squid Mage, but I, I think this is the most perfect selection of um, characters. Anyways, on to the fragrance. Top notes, fern, lime, lychee, raspberry, heart notes, ambergris, fir balsam, germanium, rose, Base notes, amber, feathery musk, oak moss, patchouli, sandalwood. So this is a fougere, uh, if you haven't put that together. It's very green. Um, this was the second zoologist I've smelled, actually. So it was kind of a shock to me really getting into that, uh, the niche of zoologist fragrances. And it, it really was niche. And at first, I was kind of put off by it because I'd never smelled such a moist green fragrance before. This isn't like pine, this isn't like um, fir balsam, like there's fir balsam in here, but it's not like a fir pine forest kind of thing. This is the vegetal undergrowth. And it's interesting because the dodo wasn't like a super tall animal, so this is, this is his perception of the forest. I don't mean to get super deep here, but this is the dodo's perception of the forest as it would be walking through because what would be at shin knee level for us would be rather tall for the dodo bird. Um, and I think that's interesting. So the forest from the dodo's perspective. Also, it's kind of this marine coastal forest vibe with the ambergris and the lime kind of gives it this fresh, uh, kind of salty, marine -y air. Um, not totally unlike chameleon, but not a lot like chameleon, but it kind of has this marineness about it, all, even though it's not an explicitly marine fragrance. Um, so I like that. So you, you're in the forest, but you kind of just know that you're near the ocean because you have this fresh breeze, this kind of salty air, kind of salty breeze coming in. So I think that's cool because I really like the concepts of uh, a coastal forest um, fragrance. And I'm really trying to find one that, that you know, one, one that I want. And this isn't, you know, it, I, I like it, but I, I guess I'm, anyways, I digress. Sorry, I digress <laughs> too hard. Um, Anyways, what I got, what I smelled, I've got it drying down on my arm. I've got it on the paper right here. Um, it's kind of similar on your uh, skin and the paper. My arm kind of absorbs sweeter notes. I've noticed that and it kind of sucks because I like sweeter notes. But um, at the top, I got that lychee, that lime, raspberry. I, for a while, I didn't know what the heck lychee smelled like. Now I have a better idea of what it smells like. So I pick it up. It's kind of this... Um, Red, I don't know, There's it, it, to my nose, it kind of gives me this red sweetness vibe, um, kind of the sweet tartness of it. In the woods as well, um, it's kind of tart woods, tart green. Um, it's not sour green, tart and sour are two different things. This is more tart. It's kind of this tart greenness, but it's got a little bit of the sweetness from the fruits in there. However, on my skin, the fruits kind of drop off and they steadily drop off and this just becomes a green, musky, uh, fougere and it feels it's a little mature for me and fougeres really aren't my thing but um from what it is the uniqueness that how innovative it is i really like it because I, I like this kind of marine coastal forest and it's a different take on it it's not like in the northwest this is a different location this is um just somewhere else you can tell it's somewhere else because uh, everyone kind of goes to the northwest for their inspirations of oh coastal forest but uh, where, where you can tell we're somewhere on a, a much different place here. Um, moving into the heart notes, uh, the fur, I get that. Um, yeah, but it's not like really furry. Like I, I guess I've been spoiled by Slumberhouse Norn and um, so I'm like, oh, fur, pine, overload. So this isn't that, but you pick it up. Uh, the ambergris, you definitely get that. And that's one of the key players in this fragrance because um, that really gives it that kind of marine accord. The lime can only help it so much because the lime, like the other fruits, uh, drop off, but the ambergris stays there uh, fighting on. Germanium and rose, maybe a little, maybe a little rose, not a lot. Uh, I get more germanium than rose. Um, not a lot of rose. So if you're looking for something rosy, 
Uh, it's just an accessory. It's, it's a secondary player. It's not working too hard. Um, base notes. Uh, the feathery musk is the most apparent thing. Now, this is the most polarizing thing about this fragrance is the feathery musk. It will put some people off. It put me off at first. But I kind of grew to accept it the, once I had a better understanding of what the zoologist quirkiness was, the zoologist DNA was. Uh, my aunt had a bird that was uh, very mean and very scary. And I remember the smell of that. And when I smell that, uh, I get afraid of birds going to attack me. But, you know, that's just... So I, I guess it's an anecdote. I guess it's my own person. <laughs> no, I don't actually get afraid of a bird attacking me. But um, it's, it's polarizing. It is very polarizing. Um, oak moss, I get that. Patchouli, sandalwood. I get that patchouli with the greenness, the moist greenness. Uh, a little bit of sandalwood. It's way at the bottom, acting as kind of a base. You know, I'm just being honest with what I'm... Uh, what was very apparent to my nose. So I, I can understand some of these things are playing there. I'm just telling you what really sticks out to me. And in the base, I get that feathery musk and oak moss and patchouli the most. That greenness, that deep base greenness um, with that musk. And I don't know, at first it kind of nauseated me, but I've grown to kind of accept it because I think it was just musk in general I wasn't used to then. And I've since become much more used to it. Um, overall, this is, a, I think, a male fragrance. Um, all the zoologists are unisex by nature, but something like rhinoceros. That, that's pretty hardcore manly man fragrance. Probably the most manly man fragrance in my collection. Um, and this, I would say, leans toward men. This is, a, this is kind of a more masculine fougere. Um, there's some aspects that might appeal to a feminine palette, but overall, this is very masculine compared to the other zoologists, which... Can some, uh, uh, most of the zoologists can be firmly unisex. This leans masculine. It's very green. You have to like green. Green is something that you kind of expect everyone to like, but not everyone likes green. Um, and this is among as green as it can get, um, but not the piney way, the moist, leafy way. Um, and absolutely sample before you buy. This is something I would imagine on somebody 30, 35 plus, um, this is just a little too mature for me. I, yeah, I haven't grown into this yet, but I appreciate it. Um, you know, I've got my little vial here. I might give it a, I don't know when I'd wear it though. Um, I, I, I would have to wear this in a suit and you know, when I'm in a suit, I would, I would rather, I don't know, there'd be other things I would reach for first, you know, the rhinoceros, that power stance. Um, I, you know, I'd reach for that. So, you know, I, I, w within the zoologist collection, this isn't probably one that um, is what I need and what I'm looking for. Um, but certainly somebody looking for Fougere, because I know there's a lot of people who are looking for those and really like those. This is a very interesting, innovative, and different one. Um, and it might fit great in your collection. And it really stands out. It's different than the ones I've smelled. That's for sure. Anyways, that's all, folks. Until next time.